Hey, the other morning, Monday morning, I called you at eight o'clock in the morning. When I called you at eight o'clock in the morning, I said, I need a brand new forklift delivered to my job site within an hour. Now, I got the forklift out there within an hour, it was brand new, but now I'm looking at the invoice and guess what? The invoice does not have a 1054 reach forklift for $2,600. You're charging me almost $3,600. That isn't how it works. I want it cheap, I want it accurate and fast and high quality, and I want everything. So let me give you a little acronym. And the acronym is pretty simple. It's A-C-T. So what does A-C-T stand for? Basically says you can choose in business, all businesses really, you can choose two of the three letters. So what does each letter stand for? First, A. A stands for accurate. Accurate meaning it's exactly what you wanted. It's the quality you wanted. It's new, the service is impeccable, it is accurate. Accurate to what your demands are as a customer. What does C stand for? C stands for cheap. Cheap because, well, some people don't wanna spend a lot of money, and that's okay. If you don't wanna spend a lot of money, you don't necessarily need to. There's always somebody out there who's willing to do it cheaper. The last one is T. So what does T stand for? T stands for timely, timely manner. Meaning that if you call me up on a Monday morning and you say, hey, I need a brand new forklift at a really cheap price, okay, I may not be able to get that to you in a timely manner, because you can only pick two, because all of my forklifts are utilized. However, when the winter months come around, a forklift may be sitting or two and I may be able to do it cheap and accurate. So if you look at everything in business, every part, when it boils right down to it, you have to choose two. If somebody says, hey, I need a piece of equipment and I need it delivered right now, right now, and it better be a brand new unit, like my guy at the start of this video, guess what sacrifices? Cheap, he got it. In a timely manner, one hour, he got brand new forklift like he wanted, but it wasn't cheap. The reason why is oftentimes you have to pull in extra resources. You have to have people work after hours to either prep the forklift or deliver the forklift, whatever it takes. The last one is, I go to fast food restaurants and when I roll in, it's kind of funny because everybody says the same thing. They look up at the menu board and they see this beautiful big burger or this beautiful meal or this beautiful salad. They look at the salad in the, in the picture and it's like, oh my gosh, that looks beautiful. And they order it. It is cheap and it is fast. And then when it comes out and they put it in front of you, you're like, that, these two things aren't the same. No, no, no. If you choose to have it fast, timely, and you choose to have it cheap, you give up accuracy. You give up getting exactly what you want. So here's the big one. I ask each one of you, whether you're a business owner, a sales rep, a service manager, or a sales manager, realize in business, you have to pick two, either accurate, cheap, or in a timely manner. And you can't find almost anything that doesn't fall within those parameters pretty quick. So when you're out there, if customers are demanding brand new equipment overnight, you'd better make sure it's not cheap. And if customers are demanding where they say, hey, you can give me a forklift anytime, I just want it to be your best unit and uh, I want it to be relatively cheap. Perfect, we should have something come available in the next couple of months and I'll get it out to you when I can. Know the rules for doing business and make sure that you're doing business the way it should be done. You can't give somebody the cheapest price, the most accurate brand new equipment, best for their order, and you can't get it to them overnight. All right? I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for your support. Remember when you're out there and you're doing business, you need to act. And you need to think about how you act in business. Have an amazing day. I appreciate you and good selling.